Hey guys, and welcome to another episode. Today I've got an exciting video for you because I've got something that I don't think you guys have seen before. Now one or two of you may know what I might be referring to. You might have an idea because of the title. But today I'm going to be dipping this smart car behind me a thermochromatic red. So what that is, is a heat sensitive paint additive that I'm putting inside of the DYC top coat. So as you can tell behind me, I've already got my matte black base coat down. And then after this, I'm going to be loading up two bags of these into a gallon of the DYC top coat. I'm going to load that into my gun and spray it on the car. Now the sweet thing is that right now, you can see that this is a reddish kind of color. It's also inside a bag, but it's a red kind of color. When this gets above, I think it's like 90 degrees Fahrenheit, this goes clear. So instead of seeing the car completely red, when the car gets hot, the car is going to go to like a grayish, blackish color because of this base coat underneath and the fact that these pearls change color and they go clear. Now they don't go completely clear, they kind of go to an opaque color, but you'll see what I mean afterwards. Now a while ago I posted on Instagram a picture of a speed shape that I dipped in this color and I used a heat gun and it changed the color of it. If you guys want, I'll put like a little thing right here and you guys can see it. You can see that once I apply a little bit of heat to it, it changes color and it's pretty sweet. So if you're driving and it's, say it's a hot day or whatever, the top parts of the car might go clear where the sides of it might stay red. Now you can get these in any kind of color you want, red, blue, green, orange. I went with red and I picked these up from Amazon. So I'm going to load these inside my DYC top coat, load up my gun and then spray it down. You're going to want to spray the plastic tip down just like you normally would. So if you're going for something like this, you want a base coat down and then follow it up with the DYC top coat with the thermochromatic pearls in them. I went with 50 grams per sprayable gallon but later found out this wasn't enough based on my final results. If I were to do it again, I would go with 75 grams per gallon as it goes on pretty light. Now something to keep in mind is that the color of the base coat will affect the color of the pearls along with the color of the car when it's going to get warm. If I went with a white base coat instead of a black one, I would have a bright red car that would go a white pinkish color after it gets hot. Because the coverage of these pearls isn't that great, you will for sure want to walk the length of the car when you're going through each panel, as you'll be able to see tiger stripes if you don't put enough product down. Now to make these pearls work nicely, you will need to have wet coats, as it's very important that each layer of plastic dip dries wet so the pearls can settle to the bottom of each layer. If you dust the product on the car, the pearls will sit on top of the dip, and when the Plasti Dip gets a few weeks old and dirty, when you go and wash it, the pearls that are sitting on top of the dip will want to go and just wash away. Once you have enough coats down, let the Plasti Dip dry and cure so we can peel off the masking. Remove the dip from any rubber seals, from the headlights, from the front grille, and any other places that you don't want to keep dip on the car. To get a clean dip job, you need to make sure you clean up your door jams afterwards so you have either no dip in there or a nice hard line of Plasti Dip. Alright guys, so I've got all my coats down for the smart car and as you can see, it didn't quite turn out to be the same red color that I was looking for, but it still looks really sweet the way it is. Now I did a black base coat and then I did seven coats of this mixed into the DYC top coat. Now something to note that if you guys are going to do this with these exact same thermochromatic paint pigments is that these go on very thin. If you're going to be working with a color that works very well, so like my brother's Mini Cooper that I did, that copper color, that went on very easily and covered very well. Now this stuff didn't exactly do the same thing. It went on, but the thing is it's very thin, so I had to put down a lot more coats to get an achieved color that I was going for. Now, if you guys do this, I strongly suggest doing more than that, because even still with seven, that was not enough coats. Now. You guys could also do a white base coat to make this color really pop and make it more vibrant. But the way it is with the black base coat is that it looks like a burgundy color. So I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to show you the cool thing about this Plasti Dip. Now you're probably wondering to yourself, why the heck do I have this in my hand? You know what this is? Fire! Well what happens when you get these thermochromatic paint pigments hot is they change color. Now watch this. How cool is that?
What you see here is me playing around with the dip. The orange thing in my hands is a kerosene space heater that I'm using to warm up the Plasti Dip. You can see that when the Plasti Dip warms up, it changes from a burgundy red to a gunmetal gray. If the pearls themselves went from a red to a crystal clear, instead of the red to opaque, instead of the gunmetal gray, what you'd see is a black Plasti Dip underneath. Now what's really cool is that you can get it to go back to red in a matter of seconds. Grab a hose and cool the dip down. It goes right back to that red burgundy color. Alright guys, so I let the Plasti Dip sit overnight, fully dry, and then I just came back to it this morning. Now I started playing around with the heat properties of this stuff, so I got my heater that I heat up my garage with, I got it right up to the Plasti Dip, and it changes color from a red, or whatever this burgundy kind of color is, to a gray. Now, as I said earlier, the pearls in here, they don't go clear, they go to an opaque color. So if they went clear, instead of a gray, it would go black. So just keep that in mind if you guys want to do a project like this. Now, something that I noticed is that if you heat up the Plasti Dip ununiformly, so if you heat up only one little section at a time and not the entire panel, what's going to happen is you're going to have a couple spots that look like a little discolored, but the thing is after you warm it up and cool it down again, it's going to look perfectly smooth. Like if you can tell behind me, it looks a little weird in some spots, some spots look a little darker or brighter than others. That's because of the heat properties of this Plasti Dip. Now as I said, I got the torch, I got the heater thing in my garage, I brought it right up to the Plasti Dip, and then after that, after it changes color, I used a hose to then wet it and cool it down. So that's why it's, you know, maybe a little weird and funky. But yeah, that's basically the gist of this video. If you guys have any questions regarding the video, please post your comments down in the comment section below, and I'd be happy to help. Again, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. If there's another color that you guys want to see, the smart car go, let me know. Put them in the comments. Maybe I'll maybe do the color that you want to do. Red, blue, green, pink, whatever it be.